So, what I am going to do is that space right here. I'm going to cowboy camp in front of the fire in this pavilion right down from the trail to beat the frost. All right, well, if I get bored, I'll check in later on. But that's what we're going to do. It's 4 o'clock, and I'm not about to climb the mountain over here and uh, have to camp up on top of the mountain. If you see, there's a chippy running over there. Um, I'm not going to climb that mountain and camp on top of that mountain with a frost uh, advisory. I'm not going to get caught up there. So that's my best bet. So I'll check in later. All right, this is how I do my dinner. I have my uh, my stove right here, and we're having uh, some pettuccine spinach pasta right here. So what we need to first do is uh, put some water to boil, and we don't have to put a whole lot in there. I'd say about six ounces. Put that off to the side. Now what we're going to do is, you see this little knob right here? We open up the gas. And you can really get it going. Or you can just use less. And get that boiling. And we're just going to put that on there, just like so. The only thing I do is actually I just boil my uh, my water. I don't actually eat in my canister. Let's put that on there. And what I'm going to do after it's boiled, I'm going to rip this open right here pour the water down inside and then I'm going to put it in this little device that I created All right, made and the pot size goes right in here and then I put it to the side and let it hydrate and that keeps it warm so that's what we're having for supper tonight. All right, this is just a uh, an Optimus stove, uh, Optimus uh, canister um, cook pot with uh, one of those uh, cheap stoves that you can buy on uh, eBay for like five or seven bucks. I liked how it can stand up by itself. It does a nice job, and um, you know. I know you get what you pay for, but it's pretty well made, and it's uh, good to go. So, we'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, so dinner's over, and yeah, it's already gone. I ate it. It was yummy. It hit the spot. This is how you put everything away. This stove is neat. And the one thing I didn't show you about this stove, it has a igniter right there, okay? So you, I do carry a, uh, a uh, lighter with me, just in case, but it has a, a little igniter right there. So all the legs fold up, just like so. And what I do is I just take this and carefully just beat it around right in there okay now I just place it in the bag so I'll do a little bag maintenance really fast because when I pulled this out I must have pulled it just a little bit too hard there we go. Okay. 
See how it fits right there on top. Then I close the lid right there. I got my little baggie right here. And I don't know if you can see. There we go. I'll move this back a little bit. Then I just put it in the little baggie. And just like that, everything's put away. All right. So that's my cook set and um, how I cook with it. All right, well, we're all set up here tonight. And uh, we got the fire going right here. You can see I have it going way back. So it'll burn for a while. And because it's gonna get super cold tonight. So just wanted to check in, uh, get my sleeping bag out and get ready for bed. All right, hey, thanks for watching my videos and We're going to have some fun tomorrow. All right. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. All right. Good morning. We're, we're going on day three. And uh, we're going to be making our way from uh, Harry John Picnic Area, which we're at right now, over to Pope Patty today. Um, last night, it was cold. I can tell you that. Uh, we're all packed up. Um, there, yeah, let me show you. This is, uh, the little spot where I slept last night on the ground. Uh, the fire has burned itself out. I had to get up around midnight last night, um, and readjust the fire because, uh, um, they almost went out and that got me to about four o'clock this morning. And then it totally burned out. So the last uh, hour and a half of this morning um, was pretty cold. Um, it's about uh, 5.48 going on 6 o'clock. So we're going to get moving. I have to go filter some water and we'll hit the trail. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. This is how we're doing it. There's the uh, spring right there. I got my ever new bottle for collecting water and my Sawyer that goes into my spark bottle which I'll filtrate the water and it's simple I mean you fill up this you squeeze it into here and you got fresh water so I'll be right back all right I got the dirty water from the spring you just screw on this top right here Turn this upside down, you get some squeezes, and there's the clean water. Going through the, the soil. Alright, so I'm going to keep on uh, filtering. One last thing, what I like to do is I had it sitting right there. You can see all the water. I like to turn it upside down. Normally the dirty water goes in this end, the clean water comes out this end. So I like to just let it sit there when I'm packing everything back up. That's what I, one other little thing I want to share with you. Uh, make sure that you get all the water out. Just let it sit there for a couple moments. All right, it's a good system. All right, talk to you later. All right, here we are. Where we left off yesterday at Harry John State Park picnic area, and uh, we we're headed out to Poe Patty. 
It's about a almost 12 and a half mile journey today. And uh, we had to cross the road here. So we'll catch you on the other side. All right. Here we go. Mid-State Trail, Poe Valley Park. All right, US 322, 42 kilometers. We're not going that far today. But you can see there's the Harry John State Forest picnic area. And we just came up right here. And the blazes takes us up here. I'll catch you back with you in a little bit. All right. We just came up this hill. There's a double blaze. And the double blaze takes up, take us up, to, it looks like this little, little staircase right here. Whew. Hopefully you can see that through the condensation on the, the lens because it's so cold out here. And hopefully you can see this. Across the way, let's take a look. Oh yeah, you can see it. What a good morning view. You can hear the birds chirping. Well, you can see we're going to be going down. Good morning. Love it. It's hard to see through those trees, but how that valley is over there. I love it. All right. You can see we're going down here, going in the woods and going down. And I bet you we're going up that air hill. All right. See you later. All right. Well, coming to a registry, Mid State Trail. So, we'll stop here, sign on in. And we'll check back in a little bit. Well, there's our first bare paw print. You can see it compared to my shoe. I wear a size 12 right there. And how I know it's a bare paw print is there's the other one right there. So we got bear on the trail. And this is what the trail is looking like. This is a perfect bear habitat too. So, yay! The first bear paw print that I've seen. So, we'll keep on going up the trail. We'll catch up to you later. If I run into that bear, I'll tune in. All right, talk to you later. Bye. All right, since the last time we checked in, past the bear poles and the trail registry, um, this is what the trail's looking like. Um, narrow. Uh, walking through this mountain laurel. There's not much to see, but I just want to show you. It's still a little chilly, but I took off my uh, puffer jacket 
and put on my windbreaker slash rain jacket um, because I was just getting a little too hot in the puffer. That keeps me pretty warm. Uh, thank goodness because it kept me very warm last night. But yeah, even my uh, quilt insulated pad and my puffer still it was cold uh, I think it was because of the wind last night uh, they're calling for frost this morning but I didn't really see any frost there's a lot of condensation on stuff uh, moisture wise but it was uh It was a cold one. So, you can see where we're headed. I'll check back with you in a little bit. See you later. Well, you can see you got the Sand Hollow Fire Trail and the Mid State Trail and Sand Hollow Fire Trail. And uh, you can see that that Sand Hollow Fire Trail is marked in yellow down there. And now we're going to be making a right. And uh, it's looking like it's a shared orange and yellow blaze. And we're going to be headed out this way. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, this is what the trail's looking like. I just crossed a bunch of sloppiness back there um, behind me. And... Uh, I also had to go across a pretty long log, um, but this is what the trail has turned into, Slop Fest 2017 Mid-State Trail, Sloppy Adventures of Trailbound. <laughs> I'm going to hop across here, I'm running out of dry, dry stuff over there. And at least some of these leaves look a little drier. If you step lightly on top of that squishy moss, uh, there's a good chance that you're shoes won't sink far enough in it so the water goes up over the uh, uh, over the uh, rubber so just take your time here you can see what I'm talking about Whoop, that's too too loose All right. like this as soon as you step on here it's all moisture and you can see the water coming up. If you tread lightly, you can uh, when you walk over it and your feet don't get too hard. But if you're just plowing through this, you're going to get some wet feet. So that's why I'm taking my time. Oh no. Okay, the feet just got really wet there. It's right at the end too. Uh, you can see <laughs> All right. There we go. We're ahead. Well, this is the trail. You can see we got a, a running creek going right down through the trail. Nothing that we're not used to, but there's really nowhere to pass. Um, so, I just wanted to tune in and show you this, what I'm dealing with. Alright, talk to you later. Well, we finally made it through uh, Slushville, USA there. <sighs> and uh, 
we came to this big open area. Uh, looks like it could be a campground or a campsite. Um, it's all wet down there. And I've been through enough wetness right now, so I don't want to go down there and investigate that right now. And now we're on a gigantic path right here, and there's a gate. And what do you know? Slappyville Part 2 is right here. Now this ain't bad compared to what I just went through. This is this is manageable. Very easy. One step across. Here and big steps. Luckily there's enough uh, uh, there we go. Luckily there's enough big rocks right there. A word to the wise, if you're thinking about hiking this section, the section after uh, RB Winter to Harry John to uh, uh, Poe Patty, um, don't do it unless uh, you, you, know, you want to have this experience. If it's going to rain or have a big rain for a few days before you go hike out here, this is what you can expect. All right, looks like we're coming out to a road. And go right across. Huh? See all the Water coming down here. All right, looks like we're going up here and finally getting up and over this mountain. Maybe, I don't know. We'll find out. I don't really like reading ahead except for where I'm headed to. Um, I don't really like reading uh, the guide because I like to kind of be surprised because you can sit there and read the guide and be like oh I can't wait to see this or oh I can't do that or you know I just kind of want to feel for the adventure and uh, you know I'll scan through it and when I'm planning it out I'll scan through it and look for some water sources take note of water sources and uh, take note of some camping site areas and but I all in all I don't sit there and memorize it I don't read it so I can memorize it so hey look there's an M on the rock because of the shadow of the uh, of the bushes that's pretty neat Oh, well, we're headed out this way. I'll check back in a little bit. All right, we're climbing over some rocks here. Um, but I know I'm going to probably be asking for it. But I'm going to state it anyway. This gradual... Uh, sidewalking up the hill is one of the nicest uh, inclines I've been on in a while and now mark my words uh, this is what I'm doing you know it's just going and I've been going like this for a while let me like this going weaving down weaving down and out that way down the hill but I ooh 
I think I can uh, got the cell phone reception. All right, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Been haven't had cell phone reception in almost a day, so I'll be back in a little bit. Well, we're back, and uh, I got to call Emily, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, remember when I said back there at the rocks that how nice that was and how gradual of a uh, incline we were having? Well, you can see the ground right here in front of me. And uh, the camera's facing straight ahead. Um, and that's where we're going. All of a sudden they just said, the heck with switchbacks. Heck with uh, a gradual incline. We're going to take you straight up. And this is a beast of a mountain here. So, I don't know how long that's going to go for. I'm going to start taking my time getting up and talk to you later. Alright, well, we made up the head. Straight up incline. Came around here. Came up this little grade. And now we're headed up here, which isn't that bad yet. But we'll see. But I wanted to tune in uh, before I just made that little climb right there uh, when I was going up that really steep section. Um, I noticed well this morning before I left and headed out here. Uh, I started feeling a hot spot right away this morning, so I put a piece of duct tape on my heel. And I noticed coming up there, all of a sudden that hot spot was coming back. So I stopped, took off the shoe, and noticed that my piece of duct tape had fallen off. So what do I do? Put a new piece of duct tape on it. And guess what? That fast. No more rubbing. And it feels so good. I had wrapped my big toe that you saw, that big blister on there from the other day, uh, with duct tape. And uh, that's feeling pretty good. Also, so you can see all the way until it starts to turn green, there's a blaze up there on that one tree way, way up there. So we're headed straight on up. I'll check back with you in a little bit. All right. Well, we went up that one little section and I believe uh, this is now the top here. Hopefully I'm right because this has been one heck of a climb. There we go. Let's see. Well, this is what it looks like up here. Hopefully, hopefully we're headed out this way, going that way, because maybe we'll run into a view. If I do, uh, this is what the top has been looking like. Um, boulders everywhere, rock soil all over the place. Um, Just to let you know, uh, the Mid-State Mid Trail is having a one-day sale on rocks. Uh, they will not deliver. 
you can come pick them up uh, and at a very, 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 very low price. They're giving them away today um, and today only. Uh, the only bad thing, by the time you guys see this <laughs> little promo for that, <laughs> it will be sometime in May. Uh, well, sometime in probably May, June, probably by June, this will be uploaded. I just have so much footage backed up. Uh, but this is what we're working with. Rocks are us. Loving it. We're headed this way. You can see there's a blaze through all these rocks. Uh, they're just everywhere. This is incredible. See, now this is the reason why I have the big wide trekking pole bases right here for these rocks because Pennsylvania is just filled with them. I think we have to lead in the in that department for rockiest trails. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but considering the Mid-State Trail, all a bunch of other trails out there in Pennsylvania, and also uh, uh, the ET, which everybody complains about the rocks of Pennsylvania. You know, it is what it is, man. That's what you have to do. You know, you just get through it. I like the rocks. They're fun. You just have to be realistic. If you think you're going to be able to do, whoa, 20 miles, you can. If you can do 30 miles, you can. You know, you just don't have to uh, take your time and persevere. Look at this. What is it? What do we got here? Do we have a view? Oh. I still a blaze right here on that tree. Huh. Oh yeah. We got a view. People been up here having fun. Building little rock sculptures. Look, a rock wall. Little rock sculptures. And look at that view. Oh, that's beautiful. Alrighty. Well, enjoy the view. It looks like uh, we're actually headed this way. Over there. I see a blaze right on that rock. So... I'll be back in a little Well, we just went live on Facebook and Twitter. And now I am just walking over some more rocks. And trying to pick out the best way to go about it. Without... Whoa. Ugh. I think some of these rocks aren't used to big guys like me. There's a whole lot of rattling and shaking going on. Uh-huh. Look at that big one. If that's not interesting, 
I can't tell you if I can maybe I should have done it going down there juggling and uh, playing the kazoo or something but too bad I can't juggle and I can only toot on the kazoo if I had one so I don't happen to have a kazoo on me alright we got a uh, a sign up here sorry uh, everybody that was tuning in watching on Facebook and Twitter there uh, some of the cell phone reception was spotty kept on going in and out but I saw you Bill I saw you uh, Brian there's a shout out I'm gonna give some other shout outs right now uh, Hike by Faith, LHX 2017, you guys were awesome, I love following your adventure uh, when you are on the Laurel Highlands, wow, I found a trail that's even more rough than the Mid-State, this rock knob trail to Woodward holy cow bring out your machetes boys that is that is i'll stick to the mid-state trail i'm not going to complain no more going through that well let's well the mid-state trail is just about equal but that one looks a lot more more a lot more overgrown okay so on with the shout outs I was saying, uh, Brian, I saw you, Jenny, on LHX 2017 uh, on the Laurel Highlands. That looked awesome, man. Thanks for sharing all that with me. Uh, allowing me to be a, not a party. Well, I, I appreciate you uh, uh, doing the little videos and everything uh, for uh, my videos. Uh, that was really cool. Um, also, Hiker Steve, too. Um, those two guys, Brian and uh, Hike by Faith, and also uh, Hiker Steve, you guys look like you had an amazing journey. Uh, also, to a couple other friends on Twitter, uh, Hiker B, uh, Eddie, 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 my brother from Pennsylvania, I'm going to get you out here one of these days here soon enough. All right, so we can go hiking together. All right, I can't wait for that. And you too, Brian. Maybe we can all meet up and uh, spend a couple days on the trail. All right. But also, uh, another good friend that's on Twitter that's really helped me out uh, with uh, the beginning of my videos. And uh, he's uh, he does YouTube uh, for gaming and some other stuff is uh, Jake. DeMarco, you're a good man, Jake, and uh, you inspire me, you, you really do inspire me, brother, and uh, that's why I, that's why I hike, man, I know you'd love to be out here, uh, and I'm not going to say why, um, but I know that you, you're, you don't, you can't do it because of your, uh, the stuff that you're dealing with medically, but I, I wish the best for you, buddy. I, uh, I hope that you can overcome all your pain. And I, I appreciate you watching my videos and, uh, and all the support you've been giving me. Um, you're a great man, Jake. And uh, hopefully uh, someday I can meet up with you too. All right there, buddy. Um, also, uh, everybody else that watches uh, my uh, YouTube, I uh, appreciate everything. Uh, all the times that you've been watching, uh, I'm trying to do my best. I know the camera work is, uh, we've gone through some issues with the cameras and stuff like that. 
and it's not where I want to be yet but it's the best that I can do right now um, plus this is all something I'm just uh, documenting and uh, trying out new things all the time so a lot of things don't always work um, and sometimes they do but any which way Um, everybody there in Hiker Chat on Twitter, hashtag Hiker Chat, you guys are awesome. I love communicating with you. I, I know I haven't been in there in uh, a couple weeks, but uh, it's always fun. And uh, the fine folks over at Teton Sports, thank you for all your support and you guys are always fun to talk with and uh, hopefully I can meet up with you guys someday but here we go we're headed on down here and I haven't seen a blaze in a, a little bit so I'm gonna try to pick up these blazes hopefully I'm not wandering off into no man's land because you know this looks like the trail right here right what well, doesn't look like the trail up here I mean that could be the trail over there that could be the trail right there. That's the crazy thing about how wild this trail is. It can just be like, oh, is that the trail over here? Well, this looks like the trail. I just figured there's so many rocks right here. This just has to be the trail. Because I haven't seen a blaze. Oh, here we go. There's a blaze right down there. Okay. Well, that was kind of long. I want to save some battery. We got a long journey ahead of us. I'll talk to you later. See you down the trail. Okay. We just came down a very wet and muddy trail. My feet were dry for too long and the trail thought they needed a refresher. So Mid-State Trail is now going to intersect with this Bear Run Trail going down to Poe Patty. All right, State Park. And uh, this is what you would love to see right here. A nice narrow trail going through Mount Laurel. That's named Bear Run Trail. Ooh, Bear Run. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. All right. This is what the trail's now looking like. We're headed up it. Talk to you later. All right, well, looking around for some blazes here. And, hmm, hey, Mr. Rock, which way is the blazes? Seems like you're pointing this way. Is that where the blazes go? Oh, Mr. Rock, you're correct. All right, thank you. Just follow the pointed rocks. It's so funny, you get a blaze right here. The last blaze was a while back there. And you can see, that's pretty worn down. And I'm trying to jump from blaze to blaze here, trying to see where they're at. Because, uh, Anything could be the trail right here. Uh, any, any, anything could be the trail. Um, it looks like the trail... See, we could go this way. We could go up that way. But let's go for the third try. I just saw a faint orange blaze up here. And here's the trail right here. We had to always be looking right there. These blazes are old up here. It's a heck of a hike probably to get out here. That's understandable. So we're 
headed up this way. All right, you can see, that's where we just came from. This is the trail. And this is where we're headed still. And, uh, it's a little bit overgrown. <laughs> I can't even use my tripping poles. Well, if you can see out there, um, let me see if I can get any higher there. Hopefully you can see that. Whoa, I'm sitting on a unsteady. Oh, there we go. Got some farm fields and another huge mountain over there. Well, I believe we're headed uh, west. So that's north. So we already overcame that mountain range. I believe uh, if I'm correct. All right, and we've been walking this top of the ridge here. Um, it's been rocky. Yeah, timber like this, it'll go and have a spot of nice trail and then all of a sudden we'll go back to being rocks. Uh, the trail really is just like wanders around here. Uh, it goes here and there. So you gotta really pay attention and look for the blazes. So. All right, guys, I got another view for us. Um, it's obstructed, but you can see all the way around. Out there, all the way around. It looks pretty nice. Um, the trail's headed this way. I don't know if I'm headed that way, but that is a big, big mountain over there. Well, we'll see. All right, enjoy that view. All right, I just came down from that view at the top, and I'm telling you, it is straight down. Mid-state trail. Can you throw a brother a switchback? Especially for those hiking northbound, my goodness. You can see there's a sign right here, Mid-State Trail. Uh, green Knob Trail. Uh, there's a sign right there. Um, walking across the road. Uh, don't exactly know where I'm at. Uh, but we're headed down to Poe Patty. I know that. But... Um, there's the Green Knob Trail, and it looks like, after all that, the Mid-State Trail is throwing us a bone to walk down here. Alright, it goes back into the woods or something. I see a blaze all the way down there. Okay, <clears throat> after a brief road walk, you can see the road goes to our right to a uh, a nice cabin we go straight I just had the best power bar I'm gonna pull this out now I'm telling you It's this, uh, um, it's all ripped up, but, uh, a Gatorade fuel bar, um, where's the other half here? There we go. Gatorade fuel bar with, uh, with chocolate chips right there. I'm telling you, that is... Very good. All right. We're headed into the woods. Talk to you later. So we've been coming down here after we entered the woods. Um, we started, I heard water running down below me. And now I can finally get a good look at the creek. 
over here and it's of course running really well uh, we're walking down in between this gorge right here sorry about that I, I gotta really pan slower I, I so you guys can see I pan so fast sometimes because I want to get a move on Now I'm forgetting, take it slow, pan slow. All right. We're gonna be headed down the trail. There's a pretty cool stream right there. Hey, we're headed down here. Well, I just came down and hit this sign right here. Uh, Mid-State Trail, Libby Trail, that way. That's where we just came down. And uh, that Lick Hollow Trail goes that way, yellow. And we're getting down to the bottom. There's some, what it looks like, a little creek flowing down. It's all green down here. It's lovely. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. You can see just multiple streams going all throughout. And we're headed down here. Well, we're just down a little bit from where we last was. And uh, we got a bridge here. Uh, it's a nice campsite. Right here along the creek. Campsite right here. I don't know where you could really put a, a tent. A couple hammocks. But. This is neat. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. From over here to right there to back there to over here. Pretty cool. Oh, okay. Well, you can camp over here and. Let's go over the bridge. And there's a bigger campsite over here. That's pretty neat. This is like a uh, the landscaper's dream right here. Just amazing. I don't know, during the summer, if it's going to be flowing like this. Maybe this is the only time you can see it flow like this. But this is really cool. Alright. Now here's that other campsite. It, you can see it. it's pretty, pretty decently sized. We're headed out this way. Hopefully you can see that down there, but there's some amazing waterfalls on this creek down. It's just running strong. And we're, we're, we're up here pretty far. Alright. There's some... It's like a, everything's going down to these ravines. There's some huge rocks there. 
I've been walking along these big huge rocks right here. You can see what that looks like. And Let me see. Everything is just popping. Ah, get off of me, stick. <laughs> Everything's just popping in this valley right here. Look how green it is. Beautiful. Yeah. You can see. Oh man, it's I. I know, like, oh, we could probably see the melon if the leaves were on the trees, but you know what? Spring is coming here. It's so nice. All right, well, we just came down from up there. There's a sign that says Midstay Trail, Harry Johns, PA, Green Knob Trail. That gives you an idea. This is looking straight ahead. That's the type of embankment that you're coming down right here the whole time. Right there. Okay, so we're going down this road. You can't be serious. Oh my goodness. How did it, how would you expect us to get up there? Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's insanity. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's a blaze down here. Okay. <laughs> Just fooling with you. There's a blaze right there on there. We're walking down the road still. But could you imagine? My goodness. All right, we're going this way. Talk to you later. Um, Mid-state trail, we got ourselves a problem here. Um, this is what's going on. Uh, there's no bridge. And that water is, that water is moving. And you can clearly see we have to get across. Because there's the blaze right there. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, well, we're back here. And there's no way I'm crossing that deep hole. But it looks like there's a way to go right here. So I have my water shoes on. And as you can see, I have my belt unbuckled. My uh, backpack belt's unbuckled. Button, sorry. And uh, we're going to go across this. Oh, man. Oh, that feels so good, though. It's so cold. Now, when the water's moving this fast, you want to turn and face upstream. 
You want to feel it out. You don't want to cross your feet. You want to just shuffle. Going across. Make sure that your foot is in an area. And take your time. If you got to pause, pause. And basically you're just, oh, there's a big stick right here. And that's no good. Try to find my way over the stick. I'm stretching too far. So let's go over here and just go parallel to this stick. Y'all are fighting the current really hard right now. Because it's going into this little jetty. Ugh. There we go. Whew. Can't make maneuvers like that in water shoes. Oh man, that just hurt. All right. Oh, my, my feet got squished all the way to the top. You can see my toes hanging over. Oh man. Well, guess what? There's a nice little seat up there. I'm gonna go up there and take a moment out. I look at my feet. Dry them off. If I need to retape my blisters, I will. But I got four miles left here today. So you guys take good care of your feet. And I also have two more days left being on the trail. All right. Talk to you later. Thank you.